health equity zone framework that was developed by the Department of Health back before the pandemic was key in ensuring that that infrastructure was in place. We were able to mobilize resources in a way that wouldn't have been possible. We were able to pivot and respond as fast as we could and reach the communities who needed it most. The Department of Health was able to focus on geographic prioritization, focus on a tiering dynamic to really ensure that resources were mobilized but were reaching the areas where there were higher case rates and higher disparity. I feel like there was a place to go to for resources and information, as opposed to everybody knocking on the door of the Rhode Island Department of Health. Neighborhoods, particularly neighborhoods that just happened to be hit the hardest, had these agents in the community, and they were able to kind of utilize their existing communication channels and reach people. As a provider, it's important to say the right things and to know what's being said out there as well. The street team was influential, but they needed a leader, and that was Tatiana. She came in with a municipal background and understanding, but also really at a level to convene the street teams, provide information, understand what's happening on the grounds, but then also bring that information to the Department of Health. Language was definitely a barrier, getting people to get service in their language. And then the transportation piece, a lot of those challenges were able to be overcome because as a community, we always sort of find a way to just come together and, and we're all like hands on. Representation is extremely important in communities like Central Falls and Pawtucket who have been historically marginalized and disenfranchised. So when community members see leaders, see other parents that look like them, that live next to them, that speak their language, it builds a sense of community and trust. It, it is that sort of unified message and the trusted messengers helped us be able to get to a place where we brought the COVID rates down through education, through vaccination, through the testing, you know, and through the support we were able to provide. I know that the heads were very important and having good leadership is super important and also having so many people that wanted to volunteer. So I think all of those things kind of came into place. Now the community knows that there's support out there, that they're not alone, that they're not just going to be sitting at home and well, basically live life with no support or any assistance overall. Now they know there's resources, that there's organizations, there's communities, there's everything you can ever think of that showed up during the hard times and will continue to show up. The crisis built our resiliency and have strengthened our relationships where we are continuing to build off of our work, providing meaningful, impactful programs in our communities and continuing to recover and support our catchment area and work in our communities of need.